Bro, they really love to do this. They really love to do this. Israelis are white colonizers. Israelis. They know that you don't have to have white skin to be a colonizer, right? Have they ever read a book? I feel like this is for Americans, you know? They're like, well, Americans are really stupid and they think that just because we have like representation that that means that we don't have inequities, right? So they're always doing this where like they trot out women to go, look, we have women soldiers. They trot out gay people with pride flags to go, look, we've got gay people. And they're constantly doing this shit where they trot out black people who are in the IOF to be like, look, look, we have black people in our terrorist army too. When we're carrying out genocide, we believe in diversity and equity and inclusion. And this isn't a one-off, bro. They do this all the time. Who accuse Israel of being an apartheid state have never seen how many black Jewish male and female soldiers there are. Wait a second. So you're saying that Israel can't be an apartheid state even though it is just because they have black people in their military? I got news for you. We know it's an apartheid state. We know it is. We know it's an occupation, a vicious, brutal occupation. And we know that they are carrying out a genocide on the Palestinian people with the help of these clowns. So I do not care how many people you trot out to say, look, 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 our genocide is okay. Our mass murder campaign is okay. We have a black Israeli saying that they stand with Israel and fighting the IOF. You're still a vicious regime. You're still a settler colonial project. You're still a brutal occupation. And no amount of black people who choose to participate in this genocide and in this colonial project is going to change that or absolve you of that. Wait a second. Remember when we were told that they already conquered the north of Gaza? Remember when we were told like five minutes ago that they actually already cleared out all of northern Gaza and got all of the Hamas and that the only remaining Hamas were in the south of Gaza and Rafa? What have I been saying for months? What have so many of us been saying for months? That there is no way to get rid of, to wipe out, to finish Hamas. There is no way to do that. This is a resistance group. So as long as there's an occupation, there's gonna be a resistance group. They were never gonna be wiped out. That military objective was always unrealistic and ridiculous from the start. From day one, it was a ridiculous proposition. There is no such thing as wiping out Hamas. You guys just made that up. In fact, I think that they knew that. I think from the beginning that they knew that. This was always just an excuse to ethnically cleanse and genocide the Palestinians so they could steal what was left of their land. Because the idea that you're going to wipe out, eradicate Hamas was always absurd. You were never going to, which is why they claimed that they got them all in the north of Gaza and yet three Israeli soldiers were just killed in the north of Gaza by Hamas militants. At this late date, if you still believe that that is the military objective of the IOF, you are incredibly naive. Or you're just choosing to believe it because you want to believe it because it's ridiculous. It is absurd to think that that's the military objective. But at this late date and then being back in the north of Gaza when you said you already got them out, should serve as a little bit of a wake up call to you that they actually never left. And this kind of stuff is gonna continue to happen because the reality is the IOF is an incredibly incompetent army. We always hear and we have always heard that they are so advanced, that they have so much technology, blah, 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 blah. Well, some of that is true, but they're clowns. All of their superiority is in technology, their AI, their air superiority, their weapons that we pay for. But when it comes to ground combat, they don't stand a chance against the Hamas militants. That's why they don't fight them. That's why they don't fight them. They rather drop bombs on children and women. And it's not gonna matter if they continue to terrorize the people in Rafa living in makeshift tents, just a bunch of women and children. There won't be the eradication of Hamas. It's not a thing. It's never gonna happen. It never was going to happen. And even if they did, you don't think that who remains is not gonna grow up and join their own resistance group? Foolery.